All right, and welcome back to the next episode of the Jacquecast. Today in Eugene, Oregon, we are recording inside because we have Lenny here, and it is hot, and I do not want to cook her. It is hot. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, we got the nice recording going on inside. Um, just so everybody knows, this is a family-friendly podcast today, so there are babies cruising around, and right. there's going to be Hello. noise in the background, and uh, deal with it. Suck it. I don't give a fuck. Um, our guest today is the illustrious yeah. Amy. Right. Of hey. Amy and Lenny, I think, <laughs> in the kind of uh, cannabis and medical right. uh, cannabis world, your name is synonymous with your daughters. Yes, um, I'm Lenny's mom. Mm-hmm. Yep. And so Lenny is well known, little little famous she is, um, and we'll go ahead and talk about that here in a minute. Um, I guess starting what I want to talk about real quick um, since we are going to be probably talking a lot about medical and CBD and things of that nature um, was the news that California yeah. decided to go mm-hmm. ahead and right. any CBD derived from hemp is not usable in any products anymore mm. um, and I Cal- can, you, can you explain that for the viewers what that really means I don't know that i know what it really means from what i read because it, it seems to be intonating that you can't use cbd products derived from hemp in products that are one you can't add them to recreational products so you can't have like a thc distillate and then add hemp derived cbd to right. it so you can't bring it into that market right but then also on a longer angle it looks like what they're saying is you can't put it in any any edible form right. or any tincture form or anything. So it's got to be about cash. So sure. how, do, how does that work? Is it just they want you in the rec system so they can take your money so you can't grow cheap hemp in, say, Missouri? Well, I think like a big issue is, is the hemp right now is supposed to be research and development crops. Right. Correct. It's not federally legal. Right. Um, so that we're working in a space where we're doing research and development on these crops to see what market hemp fills right. in in what's happening um, in the country. And one of those big crops is obviously anybody that's really growing hemp, maybe 10% are foodstuffs or fibers. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, and everything else is CBD rich or yeah. other yeah. cannabinoid rich than THC Delta 9. Um So, obviously, it's in a part to control that. The government down there did come out and say if you need CBD for medical use, there's an approved drug called Epidolex now, and you can get that. And uh, Except you can't get it yet. Well, I mean... It hasn't been rescheduled yet. Um, sure. Excellent save, Wayne. Yeah, good save, Wayne. Wayne, way to be, way to be a team player. <laughs> You're on it. You, caught, caught, you almost got hit with so a light. I can't wait until something Maybe they're doing falls. something, setting themselves up for um, hemp. Uh, hopefully will be included in this current farm bill. Right. The Senate voted it through with the hemp provision. Mm-hmm. The House did not. So that is still kind of in flux. But they haven't not. <coughs> Correct. That, right. Yeah, it's still just sitting there. Correct. Um, what's his nuts? I forget his name. McConnell. Came in. No, I mean, McConnell's been a champion of this. Yes. Strangely enough, we're on the same team for one game. Yes. <laughs> um, but one of his constituents, Republican, came through and was like, all hemp except for CBD. There's that one one guy, one, one, call one yeah. lone voice in the... Well, well, there, like there's this late? guy, Pete Sessions, who's kind of a turd, and he's walking He's lost. related to... Uh, Beauregard? I, I'm not sure. I don't believe so. But there are just lots of turds named Sessions? Uh, I, it, it, that might be what Sessions means. <laughs> um, but he is the one who's been blocking like yeah. the VA bills yeah. that have to do with medical cannabis and that sort of thing. He's uh, huh. difficult. And so he's not for this uh, hemp positive CBD bill? Um, I'm not sure. Right. Um, I'm sure he's not. But, but he probably is not. That seems to be the way that he uh, yeah. tends to go. Yeah. Well, I don't see why it doesn't pass. I do see now that we see Epidolex being approved 
that we do see a change in the scheduling of at least CBD as a cannabinoid. Um, but they can just reschedule the specific formulation of Epidiolex and go ahead and still leave um, the rest of the CSA alone. Don't, don't you feel like... Uh, thanks, Sal. There goes the camera. <laughs> Appreciate it, bud. He was awesome. He was going by, and he just swung his arm out and grabbed the leg. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. Just he arm hooked it. You're doing nice. great, Wayne. Okay. Hi, oh, sweetheart. Oh, you're snorting? She's always snorting. I think. This is magic. So this is Lenny, and Lenny's my baby, and I get to hold her. Um, so when we're talking about... Uh, about that, was isn't that going to lead to lawsuits though? Because Epidolex claims a, a full spectrum extraction of oil, at least that's what they say on paper. And so, if they're going to claim that it's that it's a a full hemp extraction as such, wouldn't that lead to lawsuits from untold amounts of people fighting, saying all you've done is taken CBD and repackaged it into an oil somehow, passed it through the hoops like. So at that point, couldn't we all just bring up lawsuits and tie that shit up for years? Theoretically, possibly. Yeah. Possibly. Um, but the way that the FDA rules were changed a couple of years ago, and they don't have to reschedule cannabis or um, even CBD, they can just reschedule the specific formulation that GW Pharma and Greenwich Bioscience has come up with. Right. So, and on top of that, the the new rules So when you're talking them, about formulation, it's it's the whole of the medication and not correct. just the cannabinoid CBD. Correct. And on top of that, um, that well, company that brings it to market also receives a monopoly for X amount of years. So for a substantial period of years, there also will not be a generic so oh, what right. what kind of carrier are they using for their oil? I believe sesame. So then I could switch and make it MCT, <coughs> and then I could get a patent on my medicine. I don't know. Right? You know what I'm saying, though. Yeah. Like, Where does it end? Yeah. I think there's isn't it alcohol? Like they have a bunch of they, alcohol in it too. There is uh, 75 milligrams of ethanol per milliliter of oil. Correct. There's also strawberry flavoring. Oh, great. Um, yeah. Is she, Sucralose. Is she sleeping? Mm. Yeah. She was falling asleep. Yeah, she was asleep On earlier. Auntie Deborah a minute ago. <laughs> hey, baby. So if anybody out there doesn't know, this is Lenny. And Lenny came to Oregon over three years now. Three years? Uh, yep, 2015. Yeah. She started her oil in August of 2015 on Elsa's birthday. Elsa That's is right. Adam's dog. Yeah. yeah, Elsa. Uh-huh. Elsa. Oh, wow. Yeah, so they came out to uh, meet with me, and we decided to go ahead and move forward with an oil treatment for Lenny. And I would say that we've had success. That Incredible we're doing, success. We're doing pretty good. Um, she was going from um, hundreds of seizures a day, so many that we actually did not keep count because it was fairly keep. impossible to keep count. It would have been paralyzing yeah. um, to just one in all of 2017. Right. No. One. One. Well, good. It's amazing to look at the pictures, too, yeah. as, as the pharma drops out. Oh yeah, the, she's on. Um, she was on three different pharmaceuticals when we moved here. Right. One is gone completely, and the other two are down seventy and seventy-five percent each, respectively. That's awesome! Wow. Yeah. So yeah, we did. Uh, you know, with somebody like Lenny, and Lenny's in the Oregon Medical Marijuana Program. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are. And uh, and beard. so it it wasn't just. Uh, CBD oil that works for her. Um, obviously, we didn't want to get her affected like a high THC right. blend would do. Right. But we found that if we went ahead and activated the CBD oil, so we take our CBDA and we decarboxylate it, and then after that, add in raw THCA oil, specifically indica dominant. Right. Um, 
we found that that really just kind of worked best for her, keeping her on the level, and mm -hmm. yeah. you know, she'll sleep and act and not be high. I guess the word right. would be. You yeah, know? and she but keeps a typical schedule um, where she sleeps for eight hours a night, goes to bed at a normal time. She naps. Do you she, go to bed? She's at six and a half time. years old now. Um, so she napped up until the past six months, and she's decided now that she is too old yeah. to take a nap, much too, too old to take a mommy's chagrin. She's like but literally sitting here laughing at you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, she is. <laughs> I see it. <laughs> she uh, has a sense of humor. Uh, mm -hmm. She is incredibly assertive, communicates very yeah. effectively. So Lenny is one of the... Well, the main reason, 100%, why I advocate so highly for one individual noise, you know, individual cannabinoid therapy, mm -hmm. finding a blend that works for a person. Also, why I'm so outspoken about is all these CBD only um, right. options out there right. and not full spectrum, not different cannabinoids, CBD or nothing. Right. And hemp distillate is all it is. Well, well it's not distillate. CBD made from distillate. What, what it's isolate. Isolate. Yeah. Okay, so not a big difference. There, up until recently, nice. meaning the past couple of weeks, there was only one study that proved it was out of Israel. It was uh, Raphael, what's his name? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that proved that oils enriched in cannabinoids um, were much more effective than an isolated product. Because um, we needed somebody to tell us that. Right, right. <laughs> it, 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 but, so in Australia, very, very recently, in the past couple of weeks, a study has also come out specifically with kids with epilepsy. Um, and they were studying children who use black market oil and they were studying children who oh. use epidiolex and lo and behold mm. the same thing was proven that oils with a much more rounded enriched um, um, what is she doing cannabinoid pro profile were much more effective mm -hmm than the epidiolex. Yeah, all the terpenes are working together, cannabinoids are all there. Right, and so also for parents, it is um, it is much more cost effective yeah. to continue to use the black market oil as opposed to the epidiolex. Now, I heard that epidiolex um, is upwards of $100 a day for treatment. Is that correct or is that a number somebody was mad and throwing for, out there? For Australia, no. um, right now, for a child on average, um, illegal oil is about $10 a day. Mm -hmm. Epidiolex is about $160 a day. Yeah, Good yeah. Lord. For yeah. what reason? So you couldn't work harder. <laughs> they needed to pay for all the patents and yeah. the lawyers yeah. and the fancy boxes and the ethanol and I don't know. Wow. Yeah. Really? That much yeah. of a disparity? Yeah. They wow. um, average of $60,000 a year for a child in Australia. We mm. don't know. Now, is that covered by insurance there? I'm not sure about that country. Um, it will likely not be covered immediately here and we do not know what the cost will be in the United States yet. Like 300. Um, there, there are projections. Yeah. The projections range anywhere from you know fifteen hundred dollars a month to oh five thousand dollars a month God. per individual. Um, I could do a lot with fifteen hundred. Right. I, I could help a lot of people. Fif fifteen people. I was gonna say yeah. Well, and, and, and that is cost prohibitive for so many people. $60,000 a year to right. treat your child is more than many, 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 many families right. make annually yeah. and live right. on. So it's, it's crazy. Yeah, it's, it's worrisome for me because yeah. I know a lot of kids that are taking it and doing better than they <coughs> were. And... So where are we right now with the availability of, we call them 
hemp extracts, but those availability of those products nationwide, are we still in a uh, pretty big gray area there? Or are we back in the black area now? Or if the Farm Act passes, where are we? Oh, depends on what the the farm bill says. Yeah. Um, you know, they could theoretically legalize it across the board federally. And then you still have some states that don't exclude hemp products from their CSAs. There are a couple of them still. Um, or my fear is that the federal hemp bill winds up being like Alabama's hemp bill, which only hemp seed oil mm. is the only extract that would is covered. And so everybody out there knows hemp seed oil is not what we're talking about. No, there are no viable <laughs> medicinal properties at all. It is great tasty, to it cook is tasty with. though. Yeah. yeah. Great it's source of fun. omegas. Yeah. yeah. But That's it is it. not going to treat Now I your have baby. had people get a hold of me who have gotten their hands on hemp seed oil and they've told me this isn't working for me. Right. And I'm like, yeah. You have nothing. <laughs> yeah. Probably not. <laughs> right. Well, th- this is what they told me to get. Who? Who is well, they? Let me guess. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Multi-level marketing people Maybe. tell you it's legal in all 50 states. The internet says right. Yes, here. Let your <coughs> sister, your mother, and we your should, brother sell it for you, too. Yeah. yeah. Well, one of the issues that I'm definitely having right now is I, I feel like having hemp and being able to, of course, I'm, I'm pro it. Like, I want that to be able to happen Mm -hmm. but even in the state of oregon so many people are cbd hemp farmers this year have put on the hat that i'm the newest coolest thing that that i'm the expert at this and i know what i'm doing and they're going to go out they're going to grow this stuff they're going to turn it into oil and they're going to all of a sudden overnight become an expert that is starts dealing with children and you know so it's it's worrisome in the beard Uncle, I'm in the beard. Was it getting too hot? You know she likes to play with and it. And so that that also worries me. So I understand the need for some regulation on it. It shouldn't be the Wild West market because I don't want... Right. We know people that have played that role. We've mm-hmm. met them on the internet and watch what they do and how right. they act. And right. it's like you've never worked with a child that has this. Beyond the word CBD, you don't even know what the other cannabinoids and terpenes are. Right. Like we get, I get like two, three messages or calls a week where people are like, I'm coming into the hemp market. I'm going to make CBD. And it's like, who are you? Yeah. I, you know, like you said, there's no equity in it. There's no. Oh, oh we get offered right. products. Oh, I bet. Yeah. Right? Uh, oh, and yeah. let us put Lenny's name on it. Let oh. us send you this. Let us give you this. That's no, 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 no. Wait, how many zeros are on the check? Doesn't the ramifications? Uh, it doesn't though. even matter. No, it doesn't. No, there's there's oh, three the, zeros to put on the, the check. The best are when they say, "I know Lenny's crew." Oh no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, and I. I am far from a medical expert. I've never claimed to be. Um, But I've done enough research on what it is that we're doing that I'm comfortable working in conjunction with a doctor to treat. You've you've never walked away from your primary care. It's always been hand in hand, right? Oh, yes, absolutely. I I think there's that that disconnect when I talk to younger people or people new to it where they think it's just open range, I don't need a doctor. Um, no, you do. Lenny has a whole oh, yeah. team because she's so complicated. And oh, every yeah. single one of her doctors, um, therapists, medical professionals are all supportive uh, of it. Right. On top of which, they all defer to her grower yeah. to so, make those, make any oil adjustments, that kind of thing. People also believe, I, I, I don't know why, that it's an overnight process. Um, that things happen instantly, and and, and we did. Some things happen we instantly. We did but, see yeah. some things that were. Some things. An hour after you guys started, Adam came out to the farm and he couldn't even talk. I know. He's like, I don't, I don't know what I just did. But and we're like, what happened? He's like, he, he, we were like starting to run to the house. Like, what happened? He's like, she's she looking can see at me, me now. Yeah. We're like, uh, what? Yeah. And then, so so there were some immediate 
differences, but but it's also we have such a close family relationship. And y'all know her so well, even before we started. Yeah, we, we made sure. <coughs> also, we didn't just mail something in the mail. We took time to get to know the family, right. took time to get to know Lenny. Yeah. And we didn't rush into anything. Came we, up with a plan. Yeah. Exactly. Adjusted right. it several times along the way. We're still adjusting mm -hmm. all the time. We started off with barely anything. Like, yeah. Like barely anything. And she still is on a very, yeah. very, very small amount. Less but it is, is a more. potent oil, mm -hmm. full, rich, with different cannabinoids and terpenes. We know exactly what cannabinoids and terpenes work for Lenny. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we have to make a minor adjustment one way or the other for her. But when you buy, this is, once again, going back, this is why I'm worried about all of these CBD experts that are going to be coming out. So they're going to make one type of oil. Everyone. It's going to be in a bottle, and this works. And if it doesn't work, CBD doesn't work for you. And right. yeah, game over. Right. Definitely. Oh, I know. Yeah, she hates that too. It is not a one size fits all thing. No. Because even with her oil adjusted specifically for her, we still have uh, in the fridge. We have an emergency kit. Yep. Um, in case something else happens, something goes left, something goes right. And she needs a little bit more, you know, of one thing or the other. For example, she is getting her adult teeth. It is incredibly and painful. they are big. <laughs> they are yeah. the size of chiclets. Yeah. Um, and they are painful. And in the past couple of months, Lenny has had a handful of seizures. Um, and we have a special high THC oil that Adam made up for her that just a drop on her gums, if she's having one, stops it immediately. Wow. It is immediate. Wow. I love you. Um, and there are other growers that are, you know, who work with children, you know, very intensely that are doing the same type of thing, but not a lot. Wow. No, and uh, Epidolix, the currently FDA-approved drug, is a one-shoe-fits-all. They're going to jam it onto your child. And it's yeah. only for Drave and so lennox Gasto syndrome. Is that what it's... Yes, yeah. which Lenny doesn't have either. Right. So she wouldn't be available. She, that, that drug wouldn't be prescribed to her? I'm not sure if they would do an off-label prescription for her if we were interested in that. We're right. not interested in that. We Obviously. already know that high CBD alone will not work for her. Right. Um, uh, because we leaned a little CBD heavy for a while, and yep. it kept her up. It made her kind of manic-y. Um, mm. It was just not a good fit for her. And for some people... Well, you, you read maybe. through some of these pages with the kids starting these oils, and uh, they'll say there's an awakening period for a few weeks. And it's like, no, you've wound your child up on yeah. sativa dominance <laughs> yeah. 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 so hard that they're Durban? freaking the fuck <laughs> out. Right. Yeah. Like, you yeah. might as well have given them like, the size coffee Jim has. Like, yeah. ramp them up, get them going. You know, like... <laughs> The one thing, you know, children with seizures, let's Don't need. let's not trigger them with a bunch right. of like extra energy yeah. and bullshit. <laughs> like, because right. that's that's CBD is great for lots of things, <coughs> but there is such a thing of too much of a good thing. Yeah, and you can develop new and different seizures, sleeplessness, um, irritability, agitation. Those things and, are and I completely understand that yeah. because when I take pure CBD oil, it's good for me in the mornings. The morning. Gets my butt going, right. wakes three, me up. But, four. you know, when it's bedtime, yeah. I really shouldn't be eating pure CBD oil because no, no, I'm going right. to crack out. Yeah. Like in know. the morning, I love dabbing CBD. It's like a cup of coffee in the morning. Yeah. Gets you going. Gets you focused and going for the day. But yeah. I wouldn't want that at night. Yeah, so very interesting. Um, I, how... I have to say, you know, I was on a lot of the local medical boards and, mm -hmm. you know, you know in, in out, out where we live. And I, I'm going to cry because I remember one time they were talking about you guys. And the respect level was insane. 
and like they and are how amazing. They've just, like the ER there in Newburgh the, has just they're I know, right? They're amazing. We are really lucky to live where we live. They on their system they actually added a field that they could fill in what Lenny's oil was and how much she was taking and because the hospitals and the doctor's offices here all share the same computer system. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, this was huge. They're they're pretty amazing. We are really, really blessed yeah, to live thinkers, where we do. Very forward thinking. Yeah, because mm-hmm. um, they could easily go the other way. Right. But I think they even changed it, and then now because that was a success. Um, the last time I was there, they were talking about pretty much anybody that had a card or could go ahead and use. I hate that word in the ER if they needed to, if it was mm-hmm. part of their regimen. That's huge, yeah. you know. Considering we used to go in and be scared of drug tests, sure. You know, like that. <laughs> you know, we have. It's really important when you have a child that is so medically complex, or or an adult, or anybody that you can be honest and forthright. Yeah. With your doctors, it is a partnership working together. If you are withholding information, they don't have all the pieces to the puzzle, right? And they can't help you, right? Yeah. And that, and that came from the top too. Aww. You know, you know, she was like this. The, the, the hospital president. She would just when she, when she realized we knew each other, she just kept talking about how awesome and you know. That's and great. It was, it was pretty cool. I love we it. We still want you to come and do like a fifteen minute. I will come and do whatever yeah. they want. Cause it's, the other, it's one of those the other things doctors people know. people feel yeah. like they can't it's reach important. out to me. And well, yeah, you're scary. Even, even locally. Oh, really? You know, you would think locally, like, people would have me speaking, and yeah. never. Never get asked to speak oh. it. I get asked to speak at things in different states or different countries, yeah. and but locally, even statewide, like, nobody really reaches out to me for any sort of information every, or to talk. Historically, and, every healer has gone through that problem, where what do the you mean? locals don't like them. They've got oh. to go out of their market. Yeah, I don't know. You know, it it's bizarre. like, but I'm willing. I'm always that guy's a little wacky. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not a traditional kind of guy. Like, <coughs> right. But but and it's say, awesome to hear things like the people. Oh, they yeah, love if, you. If they want me to come and yeah. meet with them and talk, of course. Yeah, like a lot of the doctors want to like because they're inundated. There's so many people now that want yeah. it, and yeah. I'm like, and I and I was, and they know you, and I was always mm-hmm. talking you up, and they're like, well, we want to know the real, and that's why I got involved. It's like I want you people to know the real, real, not yeah. the CBD expert this year, right? But like the long term. We have a really, really close, small yeah. community. We're really well. Lucky. I think maybe we just came up with an idea to go into these kind of facilities. Start with this one, and start Dude. a start a CBD or cannabis oil certification program for their nurses and doctors, where they can wow. sit down with us. Wow, that would be amazing. And we yeah. can we can they hammer it all out. We can sleep. teach we can teach them all of the cannabinoids and terpenes, why they work, how they work. Right. We can get Doctor Zach from Texas involved. Oh wow! Mm. And what we should do that. Let's like do that. that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Let's do that. All right. That's new goal. All right. Fall. Whenever. We'll hit the ground running. Yeah, I'm a little we busy. Edit this out so someone doesn't steal it. Somebody can steal it, but they ain't us. That's the idea. So yeah, they don't. Have I mean, them. if somebody out there does know these things this and can go NFL, help so medical, they don't prof- have to know it. They're just going to take it and try to run with it. Good. Uh, maybe they'll help someone. Maybe they learn something. Yeah. They won't. Come on. They might. There is an amazing online CME that doctors can take um, out of UC San Francisco um, for credit, but so many don't. Yeah. St. Vincent so was even many for, uh, if you would do a symposium for their doctors and nurses. <coughs> so I've done a few of those. Yeah. <coughs> Working with some doctors up in Portland. So I just shouldn't say never. But uh, Dr. Kat Lopez, who is great. She's amazing. She had me come and speak to Sunnyside Collaborative Care yeah. a few times to yeah. educate them about cannabis oil and stuff. Right. So. I mean, honestly, in this state, if you're looking for a group of doctors that understand cannabis oil, <laughs> Sunnyside Collaborative Care right. knows that. Is that Dr. Camacho? Or she? Anyway. Mm, when I you know. say Dr. Camacho, I instantly think of uh, I Id- Idiocracy I and President Camacho. That's how I remember her name. <laughs> <laughs> We're pretty close to that now. Yeah. Oh, my God. Um, it's got lots of plants. So it's a place need. Working. <laughs> right. Working with Lenny and moving Profound. forward and seeing okay, the changes that happened with her and the and the positives, um, I feel like you did something extremely unique and extremely special. 
It was an accident. <laughs> <laughs> and this would be, I'm uh, alluding to Lenny's Law in Alabama. Yes. And if, I'm just going to let you speak. I, I would like you first to say, what is Lenny's Law? What does it cover? And then I want you to follow up with, how the hell did you get that passed in Alabama? Right. Um, it, it was an accident. Uh, the whole, like, yeah, um, Lenny's Law is an affirmative defense law in Alabama for anybody who has any debilitating disease or condition to be able to use um, oil. Hold on. And I want I want to clarify that again. Yeah. Any issue. Any. Yeah. Um, which is, is big. But, uh, you know, the legislature Amazing. doesn't want to have to go back every year and add more conditions to it. You, you sit back and you watch these other states fight year after year after year. Um, okay, so it's Sorry. <laughs> anybody with any debilitating disease or condition to be able to use oil with 3% THC or under. Um, that has been third-party lab tested, which is pretty important to me because we have lots of these fly-by-night CBD sellers all over the place. Well, they're experts. experts. Um, but as I was saying before, multi-level marketing companies that are marketing hemp seed oil and right. stuff that's made with hemp waste from other countries. I was about to say China or Eastern yeah. European right. CBD Indian. extract. Yeah. Right. Mm. And most people don't Five understand what a phytoremediator is or that it's used to clean up brown sites oh, all over the cure. world. Yeah. And then that hemp is then sold off as hemp waste. Hmm. And people will turn it into extract. And here you have toxic waste. You've got heavy metals. You've got all of this stuff that's really bad for you to ingest in concentrated levels in oil. So that's why third-party lab testing is super duper important. Um, not only for the patient and the patient's family so that you can make sure that you're always getting the same oil once you figure out what works for you right. and that it is safe, but also, in Alabama, it's an affirmative defense law. So if you, perchance, were stopped and had your oil with you, you could prove what it is. I'm allowed to have this. I have this diagnosis. I am under a doctor's care for A, B, C, D. This is what is in my bottle. I am absolutely operating underneath the criteria that Lenny's Law affords. So, there is no question. Is there anybody, any, any horror stories coming out of Alabama about people that were in the right that no. got harassed? Not no. Yet? Oh, there's also um, a child protection clause. Um, no state agency may initiate child removal proceedings for a child or parent or guardian's use of CBD oil alone. That's yeah. awesome. There has been no issue. Awesome. So, there, there have been... Um, a couple instances where schools have called like DHR on families, but then as soon as the parents explain, this is why we're using it, this is the law, the situation's been Great. resolved. Okay. Mm -hmm. That had to be a heavy lift in Alabama. Like Actually, it had to be really. I would think it would be an uphill battle. Um, no, it passed wow. overwhelmingly. Awesome. Only seven no votes out of the entire. Higher House and Senate. Wow. There was the one uh, homie that that <laughs> we did some that I spoke to briefly, and Mike Ball, I believe, was Mike his name. Ball. And what a champion of the cause there, yeah. and conservative dude. Like, yeah, yeah, you didn't guess. Yeah. No, he is yeah. an ex-state trooper. He worked for the Alabama Bureau of Investigations. He was a negotiator, like a hostage negotiator. He is amazing guy absolutely amazing guy um and our rep mike holmes they both super conservative super Thanks, amazing guys. tons of empathy <coughs> i mean and, and common sense this is just it's the right thing to do so i think a big part of how little pushback you got is that you had common sense 
coming out of somebody they trust in a member right. of their party's mouth. One of them. Yeah. Like, oh, well, right. he's saying it's okay. Yeah. Well, we have been um, present and vocal for a couple of years in the state house trying to get past a couple of laws. There was Carly's Law in 2014, which was, we were trying to get Lenny's Law passed with a few less safeguards. Um, Lenny's Law, I think, is a a much more well-rounded law than Carly's Law in its original form was. But Carly's Law morphed into a pharmaceutical study through the University of Alabama, Birmingham, using Epidiolex. But unlike the other studies across the country, it was for anybody, adults and children, who had um, refractory epilepsies, which are the intractable epilepsies, the ones that, by definition, um, cannot be totally controlled with current pharmaceuticals. Um, So that passed unanimously in 2014. We tried to get Lenny into the Epidiolex trial, and she was excluded because she wasn't on enough pharmaceuticals, meaning... Amount or... Number. Like, number. Number of them. So number. She didn't have scripts. Yeah. Right. Not enough different pharmaceuticals. Which doesn't make any sense. Um, right. Because when Lenny was first having seizures, she was in status, which means they're back to back to back to back. They don't stop. And um, she was prescribed what is usually the last attempt drugs and she was prescribed them at such significant levels that they she was taking major adult doses and here she was less than a year old right and she was given a very very um grim prognosis and a a limited amount of time left with us is what we were told um and we were given the option at that point um, when her seizures began of withholding nutrition. Right. Um, which is when, a, when I say that to people when I'm speaking and doing these things and I explain that that is an option they give you. Yeah. Withholding yeah. nutrition from your child and allow right. her to pass. Right. That's a How nice the, way of saying starve them to death. Yeah. Like, um, unbelievable. But at that point, that was... Oof. She was seven and a half, eight months old at that point. That was now six years ago, and almost six years ago. And um, it was not an option then to be able to give your child oil. So they had exhausted what they could do. Um, And we chose to go home with her and put her on the really 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 big drugs and huge doses and love her so so then she was excluded from Carly's Law years later because we said you know we'll we'll try anything at this point yeah Um, Yeah. and then in 2015 Alabama also passed what's called Gabe's Law a little boy who um, has a terminal illness which is it's basically the right to try law so we found out she was excluded from the Carly's law study and then Gabe's law passed and then we found out that it would take years mm-hmm. for her to get access to Epidolix through the right to try law right um, years and she didn't have years. Right. So then we decided to move. Right. And made plans and moved here. So. I remember that. That was amazing. To that period when you would post, you know, what, what, we're going to move. We're, we're doing we're, it. We're doing this. We got. You have to. Uh, it's, yeah. it's your child. Yeah. How can you not do everything within your power? Right. Um, and we were lucky enough that. 
Lenny's daddy could find another job and we could yeah, throw right. enough money together to rent a truck and leave our house and we sold or gave away more than half of what we owned and right. uh, found Adam and Deborah, his amazing wife mm. um, and we met Andy Andy moved at the same time yeah. we did yep. here yeah. and uh, awesome. started her on her oil Mm -hmm. So this was the big... Uh, th there was no plans on changing Alabama law at right. that point. It was just... It was heartbreaking, and we had to do something. And we had... I felt like we had wasted all of these years putting so much effort in. Um, and I felt like we should have moved earlier. Yeah. But everything happens the way it's supposed to. You moved within a mile of me. I did. In the whole country. Right. She moves within a mile of me. <laughs> well, she found me and Deborah. She right? found me. Yeah. Like, how, like, I wasn't openly out there no. seeking. Like, I was working with people, but yeah. I wasn't advertising, nor no. do I now. You know, no. I don't. It's so hard to do what we do. Right. And to be able to offer the clean, you know, what we do, I doing it to scale is difficult yes. um, without money and a team and, yeah. and all of these things. And uh, but she was a perfect fit for us. Like it worked out perfectly yeah. how Amy found me and the whole Grand Key. I have no idea. But like it was great that she did. Well, because I had been I, I am a very private person. And Wayne and I are not, you know, you would never think of Wayne and I when you think of pediatric cannabis advocates. Oh, yeah. No. Wayne, Wayne is not the poster boy for marijuana. No. <laughs> <laughs> looked like a there for a second, though. You were asleep, though. <laughs> um, so everything happens the way it's supposed to. Yeah. Um, within a week of Lenny's first dose... I people talk about social media not changing anything and it, it, it does it does, it does um, or we wouldn't be there because I posted a video of Letty watching F R O Z E N mm -hmm. I can't say it because then we'll all have to watch it <laughs> again <laughs> um, and Mike Ball saw it and she was holding her head up she was watching it on television. Um, before that, she loved it, but she would just listen to it. Right. Um, she couldn't hold her head up. She couldn't focus on it. Um, and within a week, he could see the difference in her. And the next morning, super early, because Mike is adorable and probably forgot about the time yeah. difference. We're My running those cop hours. <laughs> you, you call that adorable? <laughs> He's adorable. He called and he I said, I morning. have to do something. Yeah. We're doing something. Yeah. We're doing something. So yeah. that's, that's, a, that's how Lenny's Law was born. You. Yep. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't sound like an accident to me. I wouldn't know. No, everything it happens the way it's supposed to. I mean, some sort of divine intervention. Definitely. Magical. Definitely. You know, awesome. Well, we're hitting so. about 50 minutes in right now, which is wow. generally our time to break yeah. and check out some meat. It was um, raining grease earlier. <laughs> was it? Yeah, that, yeah. That bacon wrapped pork. Yeah. Just dripping grease. Nice. Yeah. yeah. My car. Everybody who watches this is just like, these guys are going to die. Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> well, we got accused of owning stock and right pork. Right now, we're part of the What's that meat company that uh, you sent me? Oh, we've got uh, two. Uh, we have the meat, meat companies wanting in, to work in, with in, us. What, dude? The Meat Boys. Yeah, the Meat Boys in Manhattan. Yeah. They right. make a killer, it, it's a tri-tip. Uh, hoodie. Yeah. Looks like you're made out of meat. I'm like, we, got, we need four. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> so anyways, we're going to go check on that. Yeah. Uh, we're going to hang out for a little bit. We're going to come back. We're going to chat for a little bit. But I might cut this one a little short because I just want to hang out with my Lenny and my Amy. Yeah. But we will be right back after our meat break. And 
Welcome back to the Jockcast. We are still here with Amy Young of Amy and Lenny Young. We had some delicious smoked chicken wings, and that was fantastic. Mm. Buzz. Lemon pepper? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. They were so mm. good. Yeah, right. which is excellent. Awesome. Uh, what do we want to get into talking about in the second half? Like I said, the we're going to make it hemp, quick, so let's yeah, hit yeah. some stuff. Hemp and is for paper. Hemp right? is for all sorts of things. What kind of hemp are you? Website. Hemp for paper? No. That's Deborah. That's Deborah. Yeah. I hemp is for paper. You do? The stocks yeah. that are being here's something that I hope is that all of these people growing these thousands of acres of C B D rich hemp, I hope all of those stocks don't end up on the pile somewhere. No. Use them. They know that. Yeah. Well, do they? Do yeah. No. <laughs> Because it is such a universal plant, and there is so many yeah. uses for so much of the product off of it. Like those stocks are the product, oh, right? Like, mm-hmm. You know, the is they'd have to ship that all to India to has the machinery to turn it into everything. You can just grind it up and use it as insulation the way it sits. Well, it's it's work, but if yeah, the factories aren't things. set up here to process hemp like they are there. Mm-hmm. I have this fantasy one day that they will make hemp diapers that will really be biodegradable. So why don't you do that? Like I don't have my hands full? No. 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 Not me. <laughs> She's a baby. Yeah. That's all I do. Well, <laughs> so what is in your future with Lenny's Law? Are you seeing other states? Are you helping other states? Do you get a lot of calls? Um, Parents? I don't exactly know exactly where we're going to go. Yeah. From here, um, I think my priority right now is just making sure that the epidiolics, the kids that are already on it that I care about, that their families are able to afford it, Right. number one, um, because odds are insurance is not going to cover it for lots of people. No. Yeah. No. Well, yeah, right. Yeah. Especially the ones I work with. So, yeah. Epidolex, yeah. though, is a primarily a hemp product. Correct. So, with, and I mean, I don't want to ruffle feathers or get the wrong people looking at this farm bill. Right. But with the passage of this farm bill and all sorts of, I mean, CBD-rich hemp is, like, common now. Yeah. You can just get it. Yeah. So there's going to be a influx of CBD oil onto the market. And if the law goes the way that it's written, what stops these parents from switching to an extract like that? Finding somebody they trust with labs and moving away from Epidolex into a much cheaper option that's equally as effective. Um, I don't think there's anything stopping them. That and... Most states already so have do you hemp think, laws. Do you think that's a possibility, or do you think now with the passing of epidolics and the FDA, we're going to see the changing of the landscape as we see it now? I think the landscape is going to change. I don't know what mm-hmm. the end is going to look like. I cannot imagine the federal government is going to be okay with right. hemp farmers going toe-to-toe with a pharmaceutical company. Right. Like, well, I can't see well, that. right like, now, we have... Yeah. CBD dollars. products in gas stations yep. and Walmart on their yeah. website yeah. carries CBD oil. Yeah. Um, I will say with is, the Walmart thing, Walmart doesn't actually buy and sell the product. Walmart is like an Amazon marketplace. A where, fulfillment type. Right, right. where people but put their own products. But they do line, allow it. I was in line and they had dab mats and tools. At oh, at, check-out. at yeah. checkout, yeah. Yes. Yeah, but that go ahead. Real- um, yeah, <laughs> there's another big retailer that for a while had a very well-known product on their website, uh, a very well-known hemp product on their website, um, and after a couple of days, took it down. Um, yeah. Right. Yeah, so I, I don't know what the landscape's going to be. There, but part of the problem with these things cropping up all over the place is you don't actually know what's in them right. um, unless they have third-party testing. Right. For example, um, I know of confiscations of CBD products 
being done in different states and there's you know a pack of gummies that one gummy tested positive for natural cannabinoids um, another gummy in the same product tested for positive for none at all right. really? and then yeah. other ones for synthetics right mm -hmm. um, and synthetics is where we start to get into you know a dangerous area right. in some yeah. cases yeah. You know, there was, I think, in New York. Uh, Who's the jerk off out there making synthetic makes CBD? No, no, he's the same guy that makes bath salts. It's the same people. It, it's Why the same though? Thing. You get it at the grocery store. Why do they make spice? Like, yeah, it's the taste. It's delicious. So uh, there were, you know, <laughs> fifty some odd people in Utah just, you know, sickened because of synthetic yeah. CBD. Yeah. Um, is, and they don't know that that's what they're ingesting. No. And that's what makes me mad is I'll meet the people that venture out of their comfort zone because they know us and they try some wackadoo product from some place that I've never heard. Right. And come back and tell me that they got sick or it didn't hurt. It didn't work. Yeah. And it's like, oh. And then they're jaded. Yeah. Yeah. They're never going back. Yeah. yeah. Or, and that's or our the, masses. That's our normalization. That this doesn't group. work for right. Whatever I've me got. Yeah. Or my child. What or kind of quality parent. control goes into a batch of gummies where one's a hot load <laughs> and one is empty? <laughs> right. Like, how do you even do that? Don't like, stir. you don't stir. <laughs> There's no. It's impossible. As far as I'm concerned, it's impossible unless you're just spraying an oil I've, extract on already made gummies. Like, right. That's what I was gonna say. Is yeah, I've mixed so much paint that you would have to not give a crap or try. I don't right. think I could do that if I tried. Like, there'd be scotia. But the of, fact right. that people that are sick and do need they, this as medicine, yes. this is what they're getting delivered. Right. Oh, my God. Well, right. Terrifying. And Fresh from Passamaquoddy. Okay, so, so I am not, you know, pro-FDA or anti-FDA. I think that some of the stuff is great. It's all tools that you should be able to access sure. if you need them. These options, you know, should be available to everyone. Make a choice. Right. Um, something's going to work well for one person that may not work well for another yeah. and right. vice versa. But even on the FDA's website regarding CBD products, they did testing for the past, I don't know, it starts in like 2014, the lab results that they have. And it's like 80% of them do not contain yeah, it, yeah. what they are labeled to have. Right. Wow. Made the whole industry it's look ridiculous. so bad. Well, I it's think bad. in states where you can legally grow the product, you should have the Department of Agriculture yeah. treating it like a food crop. And Is I that think, what California tried to do? And I think if you have this product going into people's hands as a tincture or as a dietary supplement, it should have analytical testing done yes. on it right. on the whole batch. Right. You know, like... It's not that expensive to get analytical testing done and add the layer of protection compliance. for the producer and for the end user. Like, right, right. how, like, scummy if, do you have to be to, like, not want to do that? If I can see what's that? in my Twinkie, shouldn't I be able to see what's in my CBD? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Right. I just right. have to say, everybody can see us, but they can't see what we can see. I know. Which is the <laughs> cutest thing. He's juggling thing. two kids and a dog. <laughs> There are two dogs. Oh, I, Meatball's not much of a problem. Meat, meatball's on cruise control. Meatball hasn't moved. No, they, I'm but telling you. They are. That's awesome. So, yeah. So, obviously, this has been a CBD <laughs> hemp-centric episode. Well, uh, yeah, it's important because, like, like, my world's all THC-driven. Yeah. And that's why I love it. Well, that, my world's so all CBD, driven, right. you know, like, like I've said back when I was starting out with this and me and Deborah and Frank were working on CBD and breeding CBD, there was no money in it. And mm -mm. it wasn't like a buzzword like it is now. Right. And I was one of those first people out there like actively breeding for CBD and coming up with you were crazy. Right. You know. No, I thought you were like, well, that's a race to the bottom. Right. So <laughs> why would you do that? So when we started the journey with Lenny, right. it was really difficult to find anybody right. to do it. And Adam's name kept coming up and coming up and coming oh, up. Yeah, Google. From just... people that know, from people that I trusted. Yeah. No, because I'm just giving we've him We've been hard looking time. for years. Yeah. Um, for the real deal. Right. Well, that and, you know, we needed a backup plan. Yeah. For her. Because we, we had been, you know, putting our eggs in 
this basket for so long and then right. things kept there were delays with the study and then we didn't get what into kind of, the study and I'm curious of the of the personal toll. You must have an incredible support system, just regardless of what you're facing, C B D or not. How is that system? What's that like? We have a pretty close little family. Right? Yeah. yeah. Of can uh, just moms and, and families that just connect and like that you can sound off on and be like this yes. worked this didn't work. Um, there have right. been um, a, a lot of us started families started in the at the same time looking for an answer. Right. Um, and then you know the documentary came out that was on what's that channel? The news Vice. channel. <laughs> CBN, CBN? Oh, CNN. CNN. Right, 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 right. That one came out, um, and... Was that with the Wallaces? <sighs> no. No. Are we talking about the Sanja Gupta special, or...? Yes. Yeah. But, okay, but before that, even, there was, there's a dad in California who had been treating his son, um, with high CBD, and word that of mouth. was with like the Dr. Ringo camp and those yeah. folks, uh, Canatonic and ACDC. And I don't even know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. word of mouth from parents who have kids with epilepsy that's life threatening. You know, we meet each other. We're in yeah. doctors' offices all the time, yeah. sitting together all the time, comparing notes. Right. And yeah. you know sitting outside while our children get cat scans right, right. and MRIs right. and, this is what people and don't waiting see rooms. And unless you're in that world. Yeah. You don't see the hours. You, you live yeah. in children's hospitals yeah. and all of that kind of stuff. And at physical therapy. And parents were connecting and saying, we need to find a solution to this. Right. How are we going to do this? Right. And there were a bunch of really strong, amazing vocal parents um, who connected with each other and said, let's figure this out. Right. Like right. Sebastian Koch, who amazing. you all have met, who is amazing. Um, he's in Georgia. Um, there's, you know, some pretty fantastic, wonderful parents doing everything that they possibly can, not only to treat their children, but to tr to make sure that doesn't happen to the next person, right? That everybody right. else also right. has that same opportunity. Right. Like their family picked up and moved to Colorado for a while right. before they changed their law in Georgia, but even after he had access to everything he needed, right? What then? You still make right. sure once you experience it and how life changing it can be, not only for the person suffering. But for everybody within their orbit, mm -hmm. like our lives are very different mm -hmm. than what they used to be. Very, yeah. very different. Um, we used to not leave the house yeah. at all. Lenny couldn't back out of the driveway without throwing up. Um, right. Yeah. Was this what year? What, a couple years ago? This was before we moved here. Okay. Right. right. Yeah. Because you did kind of hurt when you got here, but like it was a whole shift. But yeah, I was just curious where she was at. Anyway. Oh yeah. Um, but it's once you experience it, you have to help other people get it. Yeah. You yeah. have to. Yeah. Um, it's something so simple, and it, it, it's, there shouldn't be anything provocative about it at no. all. No. At all. No. Absolutely no. not. But it should be cut dry. There's yeah. No brainers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there are no medical options. Um, you know, conventional right. medical options. You're off which, which I think is a big reason why conservatives, um, it's, 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 it's becomes a, a life issue. Oh. It's, it's not a, uh, right. it's not a drug issue anymore. It's a, can we save this? It becomes right, a, like a right to life it. issue. Yeah. Right. Right. Like, right. The, like the London story. Especially in our case. Yeah. Um, she <laughs> has exceeded every prognosis she has ever been given. Um, well, that's because she rules. She's a man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Really she's a rock star. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it, but it's not only her. No, no. There are hundreds of Lennies. Yep. 
There are thousands so of Lenny's. There are. And so yeah. if you're a young family or you just came into this and you're watching, like, who would you reach out to? Where can they get connected if they have a child that they need or a family well, it member? it depends on what state they're in. Yeah. But, again, if you're willing to do anything, like, what, what um, groups? I would move to a legal state. Mm-hmm. Um... Absolutely. I would make sure anything that you give your child is third-party lab tested. Right. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, when we had talked about, about a year ago, you and I were talking about wouldn't it be cool to have, like, a retreat that people could come to and try before that, they uproot their family and move across amazing. country. That would be yeah. absolutely amazing. Yeah. I am not aware of There's not. We were talking about it. Like That we exists. Do, Yet. Yeah, um, and I, I think that that is also you know bigger picture, not just mm-hmm. talking about seizures, mm-hmm. but talking about you know Parkinson's or talking about MS or mm-hmm. all those kinds of things. When somebody you say that like that is an idea, and that's actually a project that I'm in the works on in Oregon and in California. Awesome. So. You sneaky SOP. <laughs> <laughs> you heard us talk. No. No. <laughs> no. Well, we've talked about it. It for makes years. sense. It has to happen. It does. And it yeah. has to be near places where that family. Because, like, my thing. Remember was that like, town that was for sale and I yeah. had the school in it? Yes. So I was just like, I'm just going to buy that fucking school and just oh, turn Tiller, it. Oh, Oregon? Yeah. Yeah. Something like that, well, you know. But, but my thing was, like, it's got to be near all of the testing resources. Yeah. But it also has to have good access to hospitals and doctors. And And it can't be too far off the beaten path. No, and I want the family to be able to go get resources to heal or to find or talk and Mm -hmm. build. Because, and and it is not an overnight process. It's whole life. It is, it, it is, even though, yes, within 20 minutes, she turned her head and looked at you when you started talking. Yeah. And made eye contact for the first time yeah. ever. Mm-hmm. Um, it is. It is. It is not that. Type it's of thing. also not a cure for anything. No. It is a treatment, and it can lose its effectiveness. You yeah. do have to change it. You have to keep up with the patient. It's not right. a one shoe fits all treatment. And it doesn't work for everyone. No. And, and, and there's people... I, also, I would like to say, though, is like, if you do have cancer, if you do have an issue, don't wait no. to try it. Because I get so many patients that come to me and I'm... So late. I'm the Hail Mary. Or you're just hospice. Yeah. Yeah. And I see a lot... I get a lot of that. It's like, no, we're, this is a hospice project. Yeah. It's so late. Yeah. Yeah. Like, we... Um, in Alabama, there's a little girl who was... A couple months old when Lenny's Law passed. And she is very similar to our daughter. And she had the opportunity to immediately... Not pull an old GW stuff? Uh, no, she... Oh my god, that's so awesome. She started taking um, high CBD oil that... Yeah, she's doing amazing. Yeah, awesome. Amazing. That's awesome. She yeah. has also exceeded all of her prognosis um oh and you know the doctors in alabama have been incredible um at first we weren't sure how they would receive it um they're getting it they're helping patients they're giving it as an option you know there's discussion happening which is for real. Really, really, really important. Instead of, yeah. you know, parents flying blind completely, they're now, you know, doctors can't, you know, dispense it. They can't recommend it. They can't prescribe it. They can't do any of these right. kind of things in Alabama. But they can monitor you. They can test you to make sure your other <laughs> pharmaceutical levels aren't you know, fluctuating, that your liver function is fine, that the enzymes haven't risen. Um, and they're learning with these people who are taking advantage of this law. Right. Yeah, that's awesome. So. That and I see, like, in our industry, I see sometimes pharma shaming, where, like, because you need both, 
you're not working the plan. It's like, come on. No. Like, okay, so right? all the way back in 1974, there was a study about yeah. cannabis oil and pharmaceuticals and how they affected seizures. 1974. Yeah. It's on the National Institute of Health website. So, in the next episode, or the next issue of Grow Magazine that comes out, I'm, I'm doing a CBD series with mm-hmm. them. Um, it's the article about the history of CBD and yeah. how, when it was first discovered as a molecule, the guy didn't really know what it is. But when you get into, he was a scientist from Israel, still, mm-hmm. like, active guy. Right. Um, they found out, yeah, back like in the late 60s, he yeah. said, this is what it is, and this is what it does. Right. And they were doing trials in Brazil with children in the 70s, where it had great effect of stopping seizures with children. Right. And his comment is, I can't remember the wording exactly, but it's along the lines of, I don't even know why I'm doing this, because nobody's effing listening to me anyways. And yeah. he was so frustrated with it that he right. had found something that worked found, so right, the well. Yeah. And the drug war was so active, and he's just like, look, this works. It's not intoxicating. Why aren't we using this for chili? But he was so hands up in the air, frustrated about it, that he's right. just like, why? Why am I even bothering? Like, I'm giving you the golden goose right. to yeah. help people, right. and all you're saying is, no, no, no. No, no we no, can no. synthesize this. <laughs> yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Well, this study that I'm talking about from 1974 is so specific. Oh, I'm mean, going to get choked up that it talks about the pharmaceuticals that Lenny is still on yeah, and how that and cannabis work in conjunction with one another. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is, it's the exact yeah. same it's, study, it's yeah. It's complementary. Mm-hmm. And since 1974. Yeah. Right. And you could have had that right out of the gate. Yeah. Had they. Right. Imagine how much damage those seizures cause to her brain that right. could have well, been. Averted. Right. 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 Yeah. 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 So that's why, yeah, back to the no pharma shaming. Yeah. Like, yeah, no, it, they're all tools. They mm-hmm. all should be in the toolbox. It is a personal choice and, and a necessity sometimes Bugs. to use one or the other or multiple. Yeah. Right. Elsa and Lenny. <laughs> So, like I said, we are recording indoors oh, yeah. today. We got yeah. the dogs and we got Fonzie. the kids. and So, this is pretty uh, natural. I do want to say before I forget, tomorrow is thanks, or Frank's giving. Yeah. Tomorrow is the, close, the celebration of Frank. Mm-hmm. So, everybody in the state of freaking Oregon that enjoys all of the CV they have, Frank isn't with us anymore, but realize that there's a pioneer that's no longer with us that really right. helped people get access, you know. Right. Without yeah, Frank, absolutely. I wouldn't be here. Um, totally. Lenny wouldn't be here. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, he supported us and gave us the tools that we needed to be able to start getting CBD and breeding CBD and making the medicinal oils. And, you know, he was the one that was like, yeah, let's do it. Let's help people. Right. And gave me the the financial and, and support oh, that yeah. I needed to do what I needed to oh, get yeah. done. So... Yeah, um, hopefully this video is up by tomorrow. But if it is, uh, enjoy enjoy a bowl or a dab for Frank because he loved right. it and awesome. missed the guy. Yeah, it's been How a many while. Years? <sighs> two, or all right. Two and a half. Coming up yeah. on yeah. two. Yeah. Yeah. Too long. Too long. Without yeah. Frank, we'd all have medicated bacon fat. Yeah, right. Or medicated turkey gravy. So Frank, Dude. at the end there, <laughs> Frank Frank had a few bouts with cancer. One of which we defeated fully, but it, a different type came up, which is apt to happen. <laughs> and he was losing weight quickly, and he's like, medicate whatever you can. <laughs> and then so, fats. like, we had, like, bacon fat <laughs> and gravy, gravy. just medicated, and he would just drink it. Yeah. And have He had the best time. He <laughs> loved it. Yeah. That's uh, awesome. Who's the strongest? Uh, was drinking gravy. Oh, it was strong. So strong. Yeah. He's just taking it by the spoonful. Love loved it. it. Yeah. Ugh. Miss him. <laughs> um, we went over what I said I was going to do in the second I know, half here. I, I want to spend time with my family yeah. that I never get to see that often. Yeah. I want to hug Lenny. This I want to eat awesome smoked meat. Oh, wait, is there anything you want to yell? Anybody? Oh yeah. Yell at or 
Yeah. Or shout Not out to her. Think of. Things that are pissing you off you want to come talk on. about. Or, oh, God. I, I, that or I'll just <laughs> post screenshots. You, want to holler you need duck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm I'm pretty content. Life is... Life's going good. Life yeah, is good. really, yeah. really good. I'm actually Sorry. enjoying watching those girls over there. Yeah. Oh, oh Elsa. Got, right now you guys have a missing one. He's in mm-hmm. Alabama. We have one who is um, home visiting for a couple of weeks uh, in Alabama. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. Shout out with Tomka. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. We Tomka. Shout out to Grow Mag. Yes. Want to say thanks, guys. The Grow Classics coming up. We get our clones delivered soon. Grow Classic is oh, a right. uh, growing tournament where they that's give right. fifty elite You're growers. Entering? Uh, yeah. Okay. Did they have well, a rookie wanna, category? Huh? Do they have a rookie category? Uh, no. No. They should. Like judge mm-hmm. it. Yeah, if there's a judge slot, yeah. they need to let me know. Oh, you'll yeah. just come judge it with me. The grower's judge. Oh. So I get the grower kit with 50 samples well, we in should, it that I'm supposed like to judge in like a week. That's crazy. It's way too much. Yeah. Like, I cannot. Well, no, I mean, so I have to show. split it up no, between awards. people to try and get it all judged. But we get the clones for that next week, which is great. Be awesome. Last, be the same? last issue, I did a CBD, <laughs> uh, a CBD focused article, and we've decided. I was doing grow articles for them about yeah. light depth and oil production and stuff, and right. they see CBD growing, which is great. I'm glad that they finally caught on. Um, but now, moving forward, it's like every issue is going to have a CBD centric article written by me, right? Which is great. And then we're right. doing the breeder spotlights now, which say, is this, near and dear to my heart. Month? Uh, on in the grow mag, you've done Raymond. That that's that's the one right now. It's a quarterly mag, so okay. Well, who's next? Shane. I mean, I don't want to. Oh, I don't want to okay. say. Oh. I mean, come on. But okay, <laughs> yeah, I don't. You can't interview yourself. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's so yeah. It's not an Oregon magazine. It's I a know. national magazine, so it's very possible that I could be in it. I just get shunned in Oregon. The rest <laughs> of the country seems to like me. Um. But yeah, if you ever want to go out and pick up Grow Mag, it is in yep. every Barnes and Nobles across the country. Mm-hmm. Whatever the Barnes and Noble in Canada is, you can mm-hmm. get it up there too. It's in the Kroger's and Fred Meyer's, and so that's it's, right. Yeah, it's that's in right. all. The, I so, even found it in an so airport, cool. so it's really? it's out there and everywhere. Yeah, I think it's probably it's a good magazine. Culti- cultivation based magazine. Yes. It's it's the largest. Yeah, um, I it's, know it's, there's still Barnes and Nobles around. Oh my god, there's one in yeah. Eugene. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. I think you can get it at uh, Oregon's Constant Gardener. They have it there. Yeah, yeah. I was here in Eugene. I was it. in uh, Vital Organics the other day, and they had it. I was also Where? at Emerald Valley Vital Organics, and I was in Emerald Valley Gardens, down a little south of here, and they had it. So a lot of the grow stores yeah. carry it, and yeah, yeah. So I'm all about it. And the subscription is very well worth it. Yeah, dude. It's like How much twenty was it? bucks for a year. I know. Yeah, like, yeah. It's stupid. It's and great. I like. Yeah, it's a great bag. Yeah. Amy, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. I, love yeah, I know it was a drive. Oh, my pleasure. That's why yeah. we lure you with meat. Oh, yes. <laughs> Smooth and meats. We're part and of as things pork. move forward and, Deviled egg. and my kind of like hempy CBD projects start coming online you later what? this year, hempy CBD projects kind of still under like people who know know what I'm doing, but like I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to scream it from the rooftops yet, but I do. talking when it's about time to scream from the rooftops, we'll do I it. it That's what I'm saying. Yeah, when yeah, I get yeah. to that point, I want to bring Amy on so we can talk about what a good medicine look like, what right. third party tests look like, why why certain terpenes and flavonoids are important in your oils and how right. those are kind of void from other products. And I really yeah. kind of want to deep dive into the importance oh, of the good. product and treating people. Let's and do it. So we'll do that next time. But I love you. Thank you I for coming. You. Yeah. All right, everybody. Thank this you. is the Jacques cast, and we will see you next week. We hopefully have something pretty cool planned, but we'll see. We'll see. Have a good day. Mm-hmm.